Hello everyone, my name is Wendy Myers of MyersDetox.com and I wanted to talk to you today about how toxic metals interfere in your hormones. So your estrogen, your testosterone, your progesterone and all the different symptoms that that can cause and what you can do about it. So I want to talk to you first about some symptoms of low hormones. I know many of you guys are on hormone replacement therapy or concerned you have low hormones or have low libido or have some other symptoms and are wondering, do I in fact have low hormones? Well, some of the symptoms um, can be having trouble sleeping. If you have too low estrogen, that will cause you to have night waking. You can have saggy skin. Estrogen keeps your skin nice and firm. Uh, testosterone does as well. You can have fatigue, you can have weight gain, you can have brain fog, um, impatience, irritableness, bossiness. PMS, premenstrual syndrome, can be pretty bad if you are, your hormones are out of balance. You can have cramps. Your periods can even cease or be really irregular if your hormones are out of balance. You can have a lot of reproductive issues like fibroids, ovarian cysts, endometriosis, uh, breast cancer and other cancers polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS. Uh, you can have fertility issues, trouble getting pregnant or recurring miscarriages, uh, low blood sugar issues, autoimmune issues, and even migraines. You can have uh, migraines from having fluctuations in your estrogen as well. So lots of different symptoms can be caused by hormone issues. So what are some of the causes of low hormones? So low hormones or hormones that are out of balance can be caused by a lot of different heavy metals, you know, mercury, lead, thallium, arsenic, aluminum, tin, and cesium, because these metals basically poison enzymes that help to make the hormones and then convert the hormones into other hormones. And there's this whole kind of feedback loop where hormones are produced. DHEA, for instance, turns into testosterone. It can turn into estrogen. And so there's a whole plethora of things that can happen to interrupt that process. So heavy metals will poison hydroxylase enzymes. They're very, very susceptible to heavy metal inhibition. So if you have any of these metals, uh, you can have hormone issues. There's also chemicals like organophosphates, pesticides, insecticides, herbicides, and there's lots of other toxins that interfere in hormone production as well. You may have heard of DHEA. This is a hormone that's needed to make testosterone that makes estrogen. And if you don't make enough DHEA, you're not going to make enough testosterone or estrogen. And if you do make enough DHEA, the pathway to make then testosterone and estrogen from that can be poisoned by metals. And this is why just simply replacing with DHEA is, is really not a solution. You can do that, but then heavy metals can still interrupt the production of the estrogen and testosterone. And that's why supplementation with DHEA doesn't always work. I'm sure many of you guys have tried that if you're trying to do some horm natural hormone replacement. And this is also why simply taking HRT or hormone replacement therapy may not work as well or as well as you hoped it would in reducing any of the symptoms that I mentioned earlier because it's not as simple as just taking estrogen or in, by injection or by, by taking a pill or a patch because that estrogen has to be turned into other things. There's other types of estrogens, uh, you know, and if you take testosterone, for instance, that needs to be turned into estrogen. Your body does a lot of different things with those hormones in hormone replacement therapy. And so heavy metals will inhibit that substance getting into your body and then behaving properly. So again, the replacement isn't always that simple and that's why it doesn't always work. The solution is detoxing heavy metals. And to do that, you first need to find out what toxic metals you have. And that's why I recommend doing a hair tissue mineral analysis or an HTMA because we want to find out first what toxic metals you have. Then that gives us clues as to what's going on in your body, why you're having the symptoms you're having, why you're having low hormones, and then provides a roadmap for us 
to detox those metals from your body. Different metals need different substances to remove them from your body. But the first step is doing a hair tissue mineral analysis. And I have a very special offer for you below. Just look below this video and learn more about how to get a hair tissue mineral analysis.